Welcome. Let's take a look at an example of finding the linearization of f of x equal to the cube root of x at x equals 8. We will use this linearization to approximate the cube root of 8.1. We will need to use the formula for linearization of a function at a point x equals a. So in this example, um, the a that we're interested in is 8. So our linearization will be L of x is equal to f prime at 8 times x minus 8 plus f at 8. Now this tells us what we need to know. We need to know what f prime at 8 is, and we also need to know what f at 8 is. Once we know those two quantities, we can then write our linearization. So f of x is equal to the cube root of x. Let's go ahead and write that in exponent form as x to the one-third so that we can apply the power rule and find that x prime of x is equal to one-third x to the one-third minus one. Well, one-third minus one is negative two-thirds. I can rewrite this as one over x to the three times x to the two-thirds, which is equal to one over three times the cube root of x quantity squared. Now in this form, I can go ahead and find f prime of 8, and f prime of 8 will be 1 over 3 times the cube root of 8 squared. Now the cube root of 8 is 2, and 2 squared is 4, so this is 1 over 3 times 4, which is 1 over 12. So we now know what f prime of 8 is, and we can replace that in our formula. We also need f of 8. So f of 8 is simply the cube root of 8. And since 8 is a perfect cube, the cube root of 8 is 2. So we now know what goes in the place of f of 8. So our linearization, L of x, is equal to 1 over 12 times the quantity x minus 8 plus 2. So that gives us our linearization. Now, let's go ahead and use this linearization to find um, f of, or the cube root of 8.1. So the cube root of 8.1 is going to be approximated by the linearization at 8.1. And our linearization at 8.1 is equal to 1 12th times 8.1 minus 8 plus 2, which is equal to 1 12th. 8.1 8, 8 minus 8 is 1 10th, or 0 0.1 plus 2, uh, which is equal to uh, 1 120th plus 2, or simply 2 and 1 120th. So that's our linearization. Now let's take a quick moment and compare um, how accurate our linearization is. So using uh, a calculator or um, other technological device, um, calculator, um, I can find that the square root, or I'm sorry, the cube root of 8.1 is approximately 2.00830, at least to five decimal places. Now, our linearization at 8.1, which was 2 and 1 120th, is approximately 2.00833. Now, the calculator 
Um, since the uh, 8.1 is not a perfect cube, uses strategies similar to this linearization, but it is not a linearization. It's another strategy. But notice how close our um, linearization value is to the uh, value uh, generated by the calculator. Notice the difference lies in the fifth decimal place. So this linearization is really fairly accurate. I hope you find this helpful.